year after Coben's uh, Peri Nirvana is the way of saying Andrew Nirvana. Uh, Coben was uh, my, had lots of teachers, but Coben was my second really important teacher. It helped me a lot. He's just a couple of years older than I am, so. He was in, uh, was it, that's what you want. He was at uh, Vanya, one of his senior students at his uh, place there and uh, his daughter had a swimming pond and his daughter Maya was five. I <clears throat> don't know the real story complete, but he apparently was trying to save her from drowning and they both drowned. So anyway, that was a sad situation, just to say. Um, he was really important for me as a teacher and even though i didn't have very much contact with him i had i actually had more contact with him than i had with uh, trump Rinpoche, but uh, trump Rinpoche had thousands of students probably, probably had i don't know if i counted but probably hundreds or so but not a lot and he, he deliberately would not let his books my understanding is and that let his teaching his words be published they tried to publish his Talks. And I think there's something coming out now of his talks. He talked very slow. It was a little bit of hard to understand. Uh, but it wasn't his talks and his uh, um, delivering the Dharma in its conceptual form that, uh, that was uh, the teaching for me. It was, uh, that was the way Trump Rinpoche taught mainly was in that way. You read Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism, which was the book that magnetized me. But Coben, just his presence, I don't know how else to say it. Uh, just being in the same room with him was the teaching. But it took a while to see that. It took a, a while for me in my thick skin to kind of, I know what's going on here, to, for that to actually enter. And it was, it was a, before he died that I began to really realize what, was, what, what a great teacher he was. But it was not until after he had passed that I, I realized how what he was. Difficult for me to talk about that. Emotional. <clears throat> So uh, there are a lot of stories. Um, I don't really have a lot of really interesting stories other than I was really a, a, a bad student. <laughs> if you're around a teacher and you, you don't uh, listen to the teachings, you know, I guess you could say that's a very good student. When I say listen to the teachings, I don't just mean the words that he said, I'm just saying, Every, everything about that situation is a teaching. So <coughs> I can answer questions about that, but I like I like uh, Onyo to read a little bit. She's made a trouble reading. I don't know which one I want you to read. Uh, with, uh, yeah, with the one uh, where where someone is. Martin Moscow. It's Martin Moscow, Moscow, who is uh, was a student of Trunk Rinpoche and a student of Coben, uh, as as uh, I am. And also, Martin uh, has the temple uh, in uh, Boulder, Hakubai, where my oldest son, Mason, uh, lives and works as the, he's a monk also, lives and works there and has been there for years and takes care of the gardens and the grounds and so on. Although now Mason, of course, is in Kathmandu. Uh, so anyway, this is, you can read from here. So this is a, a collection of um, remembrances of Coben and this, uh, this one from Martin. He said, uh, some say Coben and Rupache had a blood joining ceremony. I don't know about that, but I do know that Coben was completely and without hesitation devoted to Trungpa Rupache. Coben returned to teach at Naropa every summer where he was very popular in order to honor this relationship. He didn't always show up, but he certainly always intended to. When Coben passed in 2002, Naropa Institute 
had morphed into Naropa University, a respected accredited university teaching from a contemplative basis. Coben held the world wisdom chair. Coben once asked me, do you know the difference between Trungpa Rinpoche and me? I said, no, please tell me what is the difference between you and Rinpoche? Coben said, Rinpoche is like a great warrior riding a white stallion, wearing golden armor. Beside him are thousands of troops and many flags. Behind are countless more horsemen and foot soldiers. Rinpoche leads them to the top of the mountain where together they watch or perhaps make the sunrise. Coben is like a monkey, a gorilla, jumping from branch to branch in the high trees. When he sees someone who needs him, he swoops down and holds them with his kindness and never lets them go. That is the difference between Trungpa and Coben. Trungpa wants to transform society. And what are you like? So I want another comparison. I'm like a, I'm like somebody sitting next to you on a bus in 29 Palms, California, on a day when it's about 95 degrees, and you can smell the asphalt and the diesel exhaust. What am I saying to you? Don't forget gravity. It seems to be necessary for everyone to, if you're going to be on a spiritual path, to have a teacher. And how 